What's up, Navigating Academia family? This is your buddy, Dr. J. Phoenix Singh, coming at you to be able to answer a valued viewer's question. Before we get started, you guys know I appreciate the love, so please do take a second to smash that thumbs up button, that like button. Helps us to be able to get our message out to as many people across the interwebs as possible. And at the same time, comment below if you enjoyed this video, or if you have a question you'd like me to answer in a future video. If the video is high, sorry, if the question is high sensitivity enough, I will make a video for you to be able to answer it or I'll just type in a response for you. If it's a very high specificity question having to do with your career, your aspirations and so forth, let's set up a one-on-one -on -one session. You can go ahead and book it with me either via www.jphoenixing.com or you can email me if I don't have any sessions currently available on the website. My schedule gets booked really fast. In some cases, it gets booked even a month in advance. So make sure in those cases, if you do still want to schedule a session, usually I can still figure something out in terms of my schedule. So just send me a direct email at drphoenixing at gmail.com, okay? All the rates are at www.jphoenixing.com. So whether you're looking to get into grad school, whether you want to get a postdoc, whether you want to get tenured, whether you want to get a grant, whatever it happens to be, I can help you out. I've been doing this for years now. If you can believe it, we're in the third year of the channel. How the heck did that happen, right? Absolutely crazy. So today's question comes from Lena. So Lena, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of you guys. This channel would not exist without you. To be honest with you, I never thought it'd get this big, let alone the fact that the uh, growth rate is getting higher and higher every month which is insane uh, because this is like the most niche channel ever as you guys can appreciate so thank you for the support uh, so here we go here's Lena's question uh, she asked it on a video that I made called five things to never say in a graduate school interview so if you haven't watched that one it's getting a lot of views right now because this is like the season in terms of grad school interviews if you want to ever do a practice interview with just me let me know and we can set up a session like that okay so here's the question i found out that my interview will also have current grad students on the interview with me do you have any uh do you have a video or any tips so this is the video lena right or any tips thank you so much for your videos they're very helpful thanks lena okay so let's talk a little bit about this so let's say that you've scheduled a grad school interview and uh or you have had one scheduled for you and you find out that it's not just going to be let's say your target supervisor or a few other individuals who are faculty members who are going to be on a panel interviewing you but the current grad students in the lab that you want to work in they're also going to be interviewing you this can just scare the bejesus out of you and i completely understand because it's not a quote normal situation so let's say that uh, you have this situation i'm going to give you some tips here lane okay first thing is never ask anything about the supervisor so at the end of the day don't say something like uh, how is the supervisor to work for and these sorts of things it's a lot better to just generically say you know what has your experience been like in the lab you know what what have, you know, have been your three favorite things and three things that you wish could be improved never say bad things negative things uh, don't kind of semantically prime these grad students to go back to the target supervisor and say anything negative about you or the questions that you asked okay especially if the supervisor is also on a panel even though usually it's something where the grad students will interview you separately especially if it's happening in person obviously because of the covid pandemic right now that's not something that would be happening but in the future the likelihood is that that'll end up happening again right if everybody's in the same room especially you don't want to be like so grad students uh what's it like working for this person over here right you never want to do that that would be ridiculous right so that's the first thing that i'll say the second thing is that uh, this is a very odd situation getting interviewed by grad students because everybody especially at that level like i hate to say it but it's true people want you to be good at what you do but they never want you to be better than them so you've really got to check yourself if you have the kind of personality which some people do i'm not saying you're a bad person uh, but some people have a personality that comes across as cold and it comes across as arrogant you may have done phenomenal things as an undergrad. Maybe you wrote five books. Maybe you have 50 first author publications. Maybe you were the CEO of a company for 20 years before you got into grad school. Whatever it is, these other graduate students, trying to impress them by saying, look at me, I'm so awesome and this kind of stuff, and look how good I am, that's not necessarily going to help you. Uh, you, of course, can talk about your accomplishments, but you need to do it in a very humble way. This is very much about how you say it and not what you say, okay? 
Uh, no grad student is going to want somebody else to come into their lab, which at this point, they're going to feel a sense of ownership over. Nobody wants somebody to come in that they view is going to uh, basically have a bad attitude, who's going to kind of bring the lab down in terms of the general atmosphere and the culture of the lab. They want somebody who's going to fit in. And part of that, Lena, is going to be you getting a sense of who these grad students are beforehand. If you already can go to the lab website for that target supervisor's lab and you can find out the names and also just what these people end up looking like, yeah, you can go on to Instagram, you can go on to YouTube, you can go on to Facebook, you can go on to Twitter. Take a look at these people's pages, the public pages, and see if you can get a sense of what these people's personalities are like. Their likes, their dislikes, are they very outgoing, are they very introverted, what are they like? Why? Because then you can better match their energy level. If you're doing an interview with, with, let's say, two grad students who are very high energy and you're just very cold and low energy, not going to come across well. But if you've got some people interviewing you who are very serious in terms of their demeanor, that's just their temperament, right? They're not jerks or anything. That's just their temperament. And you're really like outgoing and this kind of stuff, that also isn't going to go over well. I'm not telling you not to be yourself. What I'm telling you is to be adaptive in this situation, okay? Because my goal is for you to succeed. Obviously, at the end of the day, if everybody in the lab seems to be really cold and you're a really outgoing person, that could be a reason not to choose that lab to be able to go to, even if you end up getting accepted there. Um, again, grad school is professionally the most difficult thing that you will do in your life up to that point. Uh, provided that you have not taken you know, several years off in between undergraduate and the doctorate. Uh, even if you've you know, done the master's, uh, the doctorate will be much more difficult in the aggregate, right, for most people, than a master's degree will be. The last thing we want to do is to exacerbate the difficulty, exacerbate the likelihood of developing major depression or anxiety disorders, which uh, between one third to one half of all grad students, regardless of your, your background or the field that you're in, are going to develop, okay? Uh, we want to minimize the likelihood of that, all right? Um, so make sure you kind of do your due diligence first. And if you can figure out who these people are going to be interviewing you, look at their CVs, look at the projects they're doing. Uh, sometimes it'll even say what their dissertation work is on, right? And maybe you can mention that. Maybe they've written something as first author recently in the last three years, and you can take a look at it and you can mention it during the interview. Uh, people love hearing the sound of their own voice. People love, so make sure you know you use their name. Uh, make sure at the end of the day that you're some who is just pleasant. I always tell everybody that I work with to be a pleasure, be a pleasure to be, be around and to talk with, be a pleasure to work with. Uh, and really for these grad students, you know, offer to be able to assist them with certain things. So for example, if they say they're doing, you know, uh, a meta-analysis, for example, you, know, you can always say, hey, you know, if you ever need assistance with data extraction, you know, I'd be your guy. I've done that kind of work before. These sorts of things where you can help them get further ahead as opposed to them helping you get further ahead. Whenever you come kind of bearing gifts, this is always something that is going to help you more than anything else. Okay? All right. So that is my guidance. Best of luck to you. I hope that you are very successful in the interview. To anybody who's watching this down the line, I would have the same guidance to you. Uh, if you guys, like I said, ever want to just have a mock interview situation where I could pretend to be a grad student or a postdoc of the target supervisor for you. I do this at least once a week. So it would be a pleasure to do that. Again, all my contact details are below and email me directly if you can't find a session on the website because they do get booked up real fast. So, all right. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great week. I'll talk to you soon.